Hey people of the interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I still have no idea what to do. But let's just go ahead and examine things. For no reason. This camera is rigged to respond to noise. But it only responds to loud noises, like a party popper. Maya! Okay, examine those, examine that, examine those. Okay, so there's literally nothing else to do here. Let's go here, examine, uh, has everything been examined? Looks like it, okay. Let's go to the boat rental area. Anything here that needs to be examined still, we examined everything here as well. Just trying to be very thorough. Because with these games, I've kind of learned if you're not thorough, then something goes awry. That ain't good. Something ain't right, Chief. Okay, go to the entrance. Anything I can examine at the entrance here? Because why not? This place is full of families, picnicking in the weekend. But no waterfall. Oh, for the love of Maya! Stop it with the waterfalls! Not many picnickers come here for spiritual training, Maya. I feel winter's chill from the bare leaf trees today. <sighs> what is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know. My toes are starting to feel numb. Yes, my poetry has that effect on us. I don't think that's what it is, Phoenix. Okay, so... Tension Center? I know that you can't really get much of a... Wait, what? Okay. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Nope. Thanks for coming down, pal. Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting. For better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Alright. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edrick said anything? Did I just say edge work? Not a word. That's not good. So how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. T true. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human, like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? Excuse you, I can see that. Then again, I played the damn game before, so I know the outcome. So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow and scheduled. I see. I think a thunderstorm just started coming in. Um, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Y yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones who to help him. I was going to say who can help him, which would have worked, but... Mm, I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Oh, my, uh, don't start crying. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe? How come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. Makes sense. When you rely on each other for work, you 
to have a better bond than people like to give credit for. We trust each other, and that's how it works. That's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> a working relationship? Yeah, don't you know? They technically work together. See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Obviously not. You didn't get the last one declared guilty. Or the one before that. <laughs> yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he places in us. That makes sense. Let's see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. You have my word on that. I was wondering, do you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Autopsy report added to court record. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? Hold on. I know it looks a bit odd right now. Let me, uh, let me fix that. In, uh, now this is just going to be momentarily, but... A boom! Or not. Okay, let's try that again. A boom! There we go. <laughs> okay. That face. Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Alright! Okay, transitioning back in 3, 2, 1, boom. Yay! Okay. Anywho. What's all those? Time of death. Sometime on the 24th or 25th. Cause? One bullet shot to the heart. Whoever the, uh, whoever the guy who does the autopsy report, I can't remember the, what the actual job name is, the title is. But whoever does that in this game is an idiot. It's horrible at their job because based off the evidence they receive, they're supposed to be able to pinpoint the exact time of death. Exa well, not the exact, but pretty damn close. And, like, the date, and, like, what caused it, like that. Shouldn't take, like, thousands of tries. Just saying. Sorry, I'm drawing a blank right now. Okay, I wasn't sure. That's, like, the only thing I can present, so I guess we're done here. Thanks, detective. After that, can I go over to, uh... Here again. Yep. There we go. Progression! <laughs> hey, Lada. Hey, y'all! Lada! Wait up a sec. We got Bingo! What? Bingo? <laughs> My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey! This is them. Take a look. That's not going to give any kind of decisive evidence at all. It's literally like stick figures on crack. When the hell was the last time I watched that? <laughs> Wait. See? See? He's shooting him up with the pistol. It, it looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. Y'all know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. Yeah, I'm a witness. What? Are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? Well, I mean, yeah, probably. 
I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go trying to mark my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this phone. Later. Okay. Wait, Lana. What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? To tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey. But I wasn't born yesterday. Oh, so you were born the day before. Cool. <laughs> I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice. And that means the cops. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. Well, screw you, too. Lord, huh? Don't let it get you... Don't let it get to your skills in a bunch. Don't... My gosh, I can't speak. Don't let it get your skibbies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. What was that the other way around? No matter. I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll tell you... Maybe they'll tell me... Oh my god, I can't speak. I, I, I just can't read. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some te testifying. Hot dog. Okay. She left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, she saw something. There's not much we can do about it. Question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. And that trial is going to force me to do probably one of my lowest voices I can ever possibly voice act. Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey! Excuse you? <laughs> ah! I think, I think Santa's mad at you. Long time- oh. Larry Butts. Long time no see, Nick. Nick, you know Santa? Wow. They can say Nick. Hey, I see the. Don't be ridiculous, dude. It's me, L Larry. What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day shift, my day job. I sell samurai dogs. Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl Kianse deserves the best. You move from woman to woman too quickly, you know? Kianse? Another model, I hope. Oh, Kianse's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? She bought this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Oh, for the love of... Hands off, Larry! Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my... What? N no, no, she's not. I'm his partner, my FA. I'm, uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick, must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister... <sighs> You've gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Why does Larry Bots have to be so stupid? <laughs> no, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm the, my older sister's little sister. I don't even think he could process that. <laughs> huh? Sounds great. Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. What happened? Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Kionse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Ooh. Oh. Uh, you might want to rethink that statement, Maya. I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's just... Kionse's not in town right now. 
She she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. <laughs> well, anyway. There was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh? Me? The defendant is Edward. Miles Edward. Um, Nick? Why would there be no Edward? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth? Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. <laughs> Whoa! Murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth Lane? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Okay, you need to calm down, Maya. Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look gourd-shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like, guard dog. Oh, my God. Puns! Ouch! Yeah. Samurai thing was Kianse's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know? Yeah, we know. She was all changed the name and you go in you go, girlfriend. She made me that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Uh something about that just seems wrong. What about that seems wrong, Maya? Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake with what the big news. What with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy. Get Gordy? So, Mr. Archer, who's your classmate, Lee? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Well,. I never knew. Don't get me wrong. He's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like the father. Like his father? Yeah. Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait. You said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecution attorney. Prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a pro- What? No! No, no. He's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh. Go figures. He always used to talk about defending the weak, who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. Wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know, Nick? Nick? Sorry, I don't. Well... Nick doesn't. I do. Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here, in this very lake. Giant mysterious monster. Gordy! Uh, monster? You know, like the Loch Ness Monster. Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Okay! Wow. It's really, really real. Nick, a monster. A real monster. Uh, yeah. It's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Hmm, what's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when we got into the frame, we heard a loud bang, like an explosion. Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? 
Larry, can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. What? One? one million dollars. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to make that reference. I know he says billion, but still. Grow up, Larry. Gordy article added to the court record. Now what? So I can't really talk to you about anything. Entrance move to the detention center, I would assume? No, not yet. Um, criminal affairs? Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently an important witness turned up. He'll be in there for a while. A lot of heart. It has to be. Uh-oh. Not yet. Okay. I'm honestly not sure where to go next. Hey man, whoever calls their product the original first wins. Why don't you add world? Fa Why don't you add world famous to the sign? Hey, good idea. What have I done? I mean, I guess I could present some stuff just cause, but what's this? You know, my eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Nick. Actually, the photo's blurry, Larry. It was taken last night. Last night? Nope, that didn't add anything. I'm just trying to make sure. I can't remember what would do what. What? It's a camera. You take pictures with it. Huh? But Larry, you mean you don't know what a camera is? Of course I know. Hey, you're looking at a bona fide junior high gra graduate. Bona fide. What, you never graduated high school? I was talking about the weird contraption on that camera. Oh, that. Well, it's hard to explain. Just forget about it. Well, don't go showing me it then. Jeez. Sorry, Nick. I don't know much about that. Okay. You're not gonna know much about the autopsy report either. Um. There's not much else I can really do. Let's see. Love how I can't remember this kind of stuff. I remember most of it, but I can't remember, like, the vaguely some. Cord Lake Public Park. Next, let's look at camera face. Next to it is a larger microphone and a blue plastic. Actually, haven't I already read this? Hmm, looks like the, a computer is attached to the camera. Okay... All right, cool. No, 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 there. Hey, Nick, lunches. Let's take a break, maybe have a dog. I think not. It's too cold to sit and eat hot dogs out here. Don't be city boy. You should try standing under a freezing waterfall sometime. I think I've seen everything I've done over the end. I don't think there's much else to do, so... Yeah. Unless the autopsy report can be presented to him for some odd reason. Hey, Larry, you know this guy? Who's this? I don't know. That's why I asked you. Who's this, Maya? Well? Oh, wait. Maya said she had seen him some before, didn't she? 
That's literally it. I, I can't... There's literally nothing else I can do here. Okay, bye. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey! I, I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer. That was at the office Mia worked at. I met him once and I went there to hang out with this. That office. Wait. You mean Grossberg's office? Right! That guy. <laughs> was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him, for old time's sake. Okay, fine. Uh, the picture's still not there. <clears throat> ah, that old familiar clearing of the voice. Aha! You're Mia's something, are you not? I was their understudy, yes. Phoenix Wright. Aha! Uh -huh. And you, you're me as something too. Oh my god. Seriously, man? Her little sister, yes. You've grown. You to look a lot like your sister, you know? Takes me back. Uh, days of my youth. Like the scent of freshman... Oh, no. You keep that to yourself. Uh, Mr. Grosswick, sir? Hmm? Ah, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course he came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? There was a murder last night. Murder? You haven't heard? I, uh, just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who, who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. Th this is terrible news indeed. Guess he hadn't heard anything. Well, that was useless. Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Wasn't I wondering this when I first came in? Oh yes. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. Can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's just my des desert desserts. Can't speak. Old bit of deserts. Fair enough. All right, let's present a couple of things here. I think the autopsy is the most clear thing that. Hmm, strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ah! Did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond, Robert Hammond. Well, now we know the name of the victim. Mr. Hammond? Did you say that this is the man Miles ever shot? Who is this Hammond guy, anyway? Mr. Hammond. He was the defense attorney in that case. That case. Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6. Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember. I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Miss Deepay, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. This is probably, by the way, not the original voice I gave him, but I can't remember what it was, so... But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. They're not good. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. Very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Or they never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Miss Stipe used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. A testimony led to charges being laid against one man. 
Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother call and the police blamed my mother calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Prosper? Uh yes. Yes, quite. Thank you. N no. Please. Don't mention it. You know, you saying that makes me feel like something really bad happened after. Deal six. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait. What does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than, none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. What? His father? Okay, that's... Uh... If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait. This is the photograph of my mother. Misty Faye's photo. Okay. Alright, so now we go talk to Edward. Hi. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edward, what about your defense? Ugh. It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Alright, well time to present something. Ugh. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited, yet you've made incredible progress, progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? Is that really a bad thing? About the DL6 incident. Right. DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. Well, too late now! <laughs> I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up for the job. Up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. You know as well as we do that that's involved, don't you? So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. Okay. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes. So to speak. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the, na the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder. Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean you're... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now, this. About to end. The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago. On December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Um, uh, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. 
He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be able to, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edward. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? Oh... I'd rather not talk about it. I can tell. Okay. So... Hmm. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind of you know, I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone. No. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right? It pains me to ask you this now. I know. You want us to defend you. Yes. Will you? Is this a question? Really? Is this really- is this a serious question? Of course! Uh, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember you ever doing anything for you. Apparently Phoenix is the only one who remembers this. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Huh. My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Okay. Well, I guess we should... What's that? Earthquake! Nick! It's a big one! Ah! It, it's calming down. Whew! That was scary. Huh? Where's that earth? There. He's on the floor, in, the, in a ball, shivering. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Such a truth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. We have to give Edward's letter a request to Detective Gumshoe. Okay. I'm gonna assume he's at criminal affairs still. What's going on here? Eek! What's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago, says she came to talk with y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? Lot of hurt. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth the death sentence, pal? No, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. Can't go around covering up evidence. Er, uh, you trying to say something about the way I do my job? No! No, sir. Good lord. This guy needs to calm down. Here, what I got? Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow then. Good luck, pal. Hey, you guys feel that earthquake a little while ago? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeward. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty, a pretty big quake. I'm going to check on him. You two eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. 
Okay, bye. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edge with the Nerf Flakes. I wonder. I was never that scared of him when he was in school. And again, I only really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. Alright, to be continued. Sounds fun. Awesome. I'm actually going to leave this video here. We'll start the trial, the first day of the trial, uh, next time. So thank you guys for sticking around. If you like this video, push in that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, got any suggestions for me for anything that uh, gives you nostalgia? Just let me know in the comments below. I'll take them into consideration. Or uh, if you want to check out anything that I've done in the past or I'm currently working on now, click the box down over there or click the box over here for the rest of the playlist of this game. In the meantime, I'm out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!